Oh my gosh, look at this view. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6 a.m. I woke up to watch the sunrise and boy, it was beautiful. Never in my life would I believe I'd be at a place like this uh, right now and it's just really crazy. So I'm gonna take you guys along my morning. First, we're gonna get out of here because although it's beautiful, I am getting <laughs> bitten alive. I just got like this bad boy right now. Just got this one right now. And this was fun, but I wanna go inside and we're gonna journal for a little bit and get this morning started. Uh, La Arana, can I order a cappuccino? Yes. Uh, is that the complimentary morning? Can I also get a hot chocolate, please? Are you awake? Now I'm fucking awake. What? Girl, you'll be sleeping 10 hours. Are you hungry? <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I was no, starving. I was starving at 5 a.m. Something about this hotel is I can't tell what's free and what's not because, for example, a lot of times in hotels, like, wine or, like, alcohol would be, like, you know, like, you, if you drink it, you pay $50. But here, there's no price tag. For sure, what we do know is these complimentary drinks are free. It's, it's so funny because, like, whenever I post my story here, I don't know how to be casual about it. I can't just be, like, good morning. That's such a douchebag. <laughs> like, if I posted this, I was, like, good morning. Uh, I just woke up. <laughs> Meditate slow day. Mmm, <laughs> smells good to me. Do you want more or less? Just a little bit. We're trying to take photos today, so I want to be skinny. Oh, it's such a cozy fall morning. <laughs> mm. Holy. It's good. I really like the small touches, like fucking stir stick says St. Regis on it. This iced coffee slaps though, but I wish it had milk. But actually, wait. IQ level, two million. Look at this. Wow. You just made it to mocha. It is a mocha. If we have a friend that if they were here, they would be posting 30 million more stories than I would. I'm so humble. Only one story per morning. I've done zero stories. Yeah, I don't. I, Claire's biggest flex is she can be in fucking like Bora Bora and not post anything until she posts her like little thotty photo. <laughs> All right, it is 8 a.m. And what are we doing? A photo shoot. I'm actually really excited to take photos because I created a mood board for this. <laughs> and I just, me and Claire, like it actually means so much when we, get ready to take photos because it's like, it just signifies our, another year of friendship that we survive. Or mm -hmm. hopefully we'll survive. But yeah, we're getting ready and then I will check in with you guys when we're done. So, 6 a.m. morning routine. We're grinding right now. This taking is photos. so hard. We are taking photos right now and it's just like really fun, really hard. We're just- It's, it's just such a busy day. Like, it's just so busy. It's so jam. Hi, um, sorry to bother you. We have kind of a strange question. <laughs> Would it be possible to have someone take a picture of us really quickly at our room? The athlete, the athlete herself. <laughs> no, the camera's making me nervous. No, guys, this is actually how she bikes. Right now, we are on our way to go get breakfast. This place is complimentary. Wait, no, it's not complimentary. None of this stuff is complimentary. We do pay for but Claire has been a G. Actually, we should talk about how we got this place in the first place, but we'll do that later at breakfast. Breakfast? <laughs> you want to talk and bike? I think you should just focus on biking. I know how to- Oh, the cereal. Goodness, Wait, they, they so put it in cute. the jars. That is even better. How did you get this place? I have a bunch of Marriott points and was looking to use them. You know, I typed a little Bora Bora in the in there and got this place for a lot of points. My points are gone now. And and let me tell you, I've been saving up points since I was what, like 13? So basically I'm only here because of this girl. Thanks, Claire. You're welcome. You know, I always thought I'd have a sugar daddy, but I know. Sugar baby! If you didn't use points, how much would it actually cost? I don't even want to know. It was like five grand or something a night. Total? Oh! Night. <laughs> this is the food I got from the buffet. We got pancakes, bacon, sausage, dumplings, hash browns, and a custom omelet with a brioche. Claire, I love that you like Tabasco and ketchup as much as I do. Well, I don't put ketchup on my eggs, do you? Mm-hmm. I don't. Eat. Yeah, we'll say about this experience, as you can tell. 
Service here is impeccable. If you need anything, it'll be done. However, if you want a pizza, if you want a baguette, if you want whatever you want. They don't call it Bora Bora for nothing. It's expensive. So me and Claire, we decided that we do want to still enjoy the resort, obviously, but we're not, at least I'm not, made of uh, trees. Yeah, we're just going to eat as much as we can in the breakfast and then have a dessert dinner and just snack. <laughs> Did not see you there. Come on in. Come on in. We are going to do a tour on the overwater bungalow. So first you can see here, you can see through to the ocean and it's really dope because, you know, sometimes you just want to see like what's beneath you. It's kind of like a metaphor for life. It's like, feel what your feet are. Be where your feet are. Be where your feet are. Follow me. We have here another amazing window where we can see the beautiful turquoise water. I just am in love with how clear it is and how warm the water's been. And I'm just so grateful to be here. House cleaning comes in twice a day, which is insane. Who would have known? So we just got it cleaned. Um, I think this is like a king size. What do you think this is? King size or California king? No clue. California king, I think, would be an appropriate description. We have a chair here, and we're now gonna go into my favorite, the bathroom. It's literally always perfect. We have a tub, which we haven't used yet. Maybe we should do bubble bath. We have two sinks, one for Claire, one for me. Uh, we're actually the only people here that are not a couple. So it's kind of great. Uh, toilet, take a look. <laughs> I'm someone who likes to unpack everything. So me and Claire are both on that same wavelength. We have all our clothes here unpacked, ready to go. Now let's head over to the living room area. So the place is kind of open floor plan but you can close the doors here what do you say the view all oh, right there's a giant ocean right here and uh we're gonna save the best for last don't worry don't worry don't you worry don't you worry don't you worry child because heaven's got a plan for you all right one thing that's really confusing about this place is i can't tell what's called mentory and what's not aka what's free and what i have to pay for but these were free and they tasted really good it's just tahitian liquor <laughs> okay wait we just got a letter. Wait, so the bow transfer costs money? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cry, this is like a thousand dollars. Let me do a quick little haul from the gift shop. I got a Red Bull, cause I actually am really tired, so I wanted that. And then we got mosquito spray, because lately they've been so aggressive and we just wanted to take care of that. This is a living space. This is where I'm working right now. It's just really beautiful. And I'm gonna open this so I can show you guys. The view. It's actually just a really awesome view. And like I said, we weren't actually supposed to be here. We were supposed to be in a villa without the overwater bungalow feature. But look at this. I think this is the best part. You can see here through the coffee table, just the ocean. And I think this is what you pay for. Like this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like I want to swim underneath there and like just say hey. This also pulls out to a folding bed. So if we have a party, you guys can stay there. Best for last, let's show you guys the outdoor area. I do try to close the doors because mosquitoes come in. We have here a table with four chairs. I just really love how open the area is and how beautiful the view is. It's just perfect. I might have to just jump for the camera. You know that song? Let me just quickly check the water temperature. Shower. Woo! Feels so good. If you decide to come here and pay four thousand dollars a night, right? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I recommend this. If you don't have that money, I don't know necessarily if you have to do this, but it is such a great experience, and I can't think clear enough, and I think you guys enough also for watching this video. Thanks for watching. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I can't thank you enough for watching this video. I love you guys so much. I actually have another Tahiti vlog coming very soon next week. So make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see that. And exciting news, I'm working on our very own Dharma Nation merch for the very first time. Surprisingly, I don't know how it took me this long to work on it, but it's going to be launching later this month and I'm doing a giveaway. So if you want to potentially win Dharma Nation merch, all you got to do is comment on this video. And next week, not only could you be the comment winner, but you can win some merch. And tell me how your day is. And if you enjoyed this vlog, I love you.